Jan, they found another thing that they could put Shovel Knight in. Wait, what? The, they're, they've done literally yeah. every single thi- type of game you could put Shovel Knight in. S- uh, Smash Brothers. Smash Brothers. Uh, Shovel Knight. Sh- Shovel Knight. Uh, Bloodstains. Really? Yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah, All yeah, right. Yeah. Sure. And now, cards? What? What? Jan, you might remember we were here... Tuesday. Uh, every Tuesday. Every Tuesday. Tune in for the Giant Bomb cast. But also, I don't know, like last year, maybe two, maybe even a smidge longer, for the uh, Exceed Fighting System Street Fighter card game. That is exceeding uh, my short-term memory, but I do remember that we, uh, we went in here to play cards. Yeah, that's right. Uh, this is from Level 99 Games. They were kind enough to send this over. This is a... Uh, so the Exceed fighting system is something they developed. Uh, they mm-hmm. kind of started with their own original characters. Okay. Uh, and it eventually grew and grew, and they got the Street Fighter license, and they're like, well, where do we go from there? Obviously, the answer is Shovel Knight. The answer is always Shovel Knight as far as I'm concerned. Uh, like, who's the coolest uh, knight with a shovel? Yeah, well, you know, that works for that one. Um. So the the cool thing about Exceed here, as you and I have figured out, is all of these decks, all uh, and each deck is kind of representative of a character. Sure. Yes. And by all of these decks, I mean you know, not only the four Shovel Knight ones we have here. Uh, the box we have costs thirty dollars. Comes with four of these guys. Uh, individual packs are twelve. Um, they all play with each other. So you can have Shovel Knight. Wow. You can have Street Fighter. You can have their original characters. Uh, they update the rules every once in a while, okay. but. It should uh, should be interchangeable. Uh, we just played a, a little test run. And yes, yes, we did. It took a lot of going back and forth to the rule book here, but uh, we figured it out. Uh, and I think we're we're fairly confident to jump in here. Yes, we're not animals. We play by the rules. That's right. But today we're also playing by the house rules <laughs> of Giant Bomb, just in case we get a couple things uh, a little bit off. Yeah, there there's a couple things in the rules we weren't 100% of. We'll, we'll we'll acknowledge that as they as they pop up. But yes. uh Jan, ben. I'm going to let you go first this time. Okay. Uh so I'm using the Propeller Knight deck right over here. Ben, you're playing as the I am Mole No, not Mole Knight. Uh Tinker Knight. Tinker Tinker Knight. Okay. I'm going to put this box to the side. Uh we start with since I'm playing first I start with five cards. You start with six. Yes. Correct? Okay. One, two, three, One, two, three four, five. And uh, just like the Street Fighter game, every, every deck comes with a uh, character card. With, mm-hmm. uh, here's me starting at three and you starting at seven. Right. And then it comes with these little character action cards. Little reference cards that'll show you. Uh, so there's a bunch of... Uh, each deck is composed of normal attacks, which everyone has the same normal attacks. Uh, and then some special attacks that are character specific, and then a couple ultras. Mm-hmm. Um, and then uh, just for re- reference, everyone also comes with an actions thing of uh, what you can do per turn. Right. So there's a lot of different actions you t- can take per turn, um, but mostly you're doing one of a couple things. You're either moving, drawing, or striking, uh, which is attacks. Um Oh, this little, the little back of here has some some fun tips that I I didn't know. Uh, okay. Well, Jan, why don't you uh, start us off here? All right, and we'll I'm gonna, kind of explain how to play as we go. I'm going to start pretty hot. I'm going to do a strike. Oh boy! So I'm going to choose to attack. Ben is going to see if he can uh, defend. <laughs> um, I choose. This card. All right, ready? So now we reveal our cards, and we start resolving the strike. So to start, you see who has the higher speed. Speed is this number indicated, uh, the yellow number here. Uh, I have a speed of five. Okay. Yep. I have a speed of one, so that means Jan's going to go ahead and resolve his stuff first. Uh, so this card has a before effect. Before I hit you, uh, range one or two? Okay. Uh, I push... I push two and gain two power. Mm-hmm. So I push you two. Mm-hmm. But then you're out of range. Mm-hmm. So I don't hit you. 
So Jan's uh, starting us off by purposefully showing us what not to do. Yes. Um, uh, I just, you know, I don't. I needed my space today. So hold on. Let's 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 explain what happened there. So yes. Jan gets to go first because mm -hmm. his speed is higher. Then he starts resolving his effects before. Uh, oh no. Okay. I think that's only if I'm one to two spaces away. That's why it says range one two. Ah. See, I did this on purpose. <laughs> I thought. See, we all thought that I'd double. made a mistake. It you was know. a double on it's purpose. Exactly, exactly. This is, you know, because in card games, there's so <laughs> many chances to make mistakes, but I didn't. This one was on purpose. Right. Uh, we're so prepared. We're barely, we're merely simulating what a what a new player might look like yeah, when they're playing yeah. this game. Uh, so since you're not one or two, oh, okay. Now I know how to use this properly. Next yeah. Time. So you like push them into the sweet spot, basically, yeah. if I'm in your face. Okay. Okay. So, but you're already in the sweet, my range. Yeah. So uh, I guess I'll just hit you for the one. Yes. So you resolve the damage there, which is the red number. Yes. But Ben but. here has a guard number and a or shield mm -hmm. and a guard number. Mm -hmm. uh, since your guard shield number is two and I hit for one, you take no damage. That's right. Well. All right. Whatever. Uh, it's worth noting each player starts with 30 hit points, except me. My guy has a special little deal that oh, we'll get into um, as I take damage. Uh, so you do your thing, and then I am not within range to attack you. Mm -hmm. So nothing happens for me but after, except the after effect, where I draw a card. Uh, since I hit you, but I didn't do damage, does this still go to my gauge? It does. Okay. So ga building gauge is a you uh, add the strike card to your gauge meter, mm -hmm. but that's after every successful strike. That's right. Whether you're initiating it or reacting to it. That's right. So think of it as like if you're playing a fighting game, it is your super meter that you are building by attacking your opponent. Uh, and like some fighters, even if they block, you still build a little meter. Uh, does Shovel Knight build meter? No, he doesn't. Um, which kind of brings me to my point as I ponder my turn here that I think they did a really good job. So a, a big compliment I had, so I'll discard this Card. Uh, failed strike. And I'm just going to move. Um, oh, wait, no, I'm not. I'm going to strike as well. So uh, a big a big compliment I had for the Street Fighter um version of this which i i hadn't played any of their other exceed seasons you know with their original characters and such i thought they did a really good job of designing a game that a card game that felt like a fighting game it has that similar set of like here are your options you know you can move you can build meter you can attack um and then it like has the gauge stuff for the special attack i think they did a great job there and i think they did a great job of kind of doing the same thing for a game that's not a fighting game, but making it feel like it is. Like, this kind of feels like a Shovel Knight fighter, so to speak. Yeah, sure. Uh, yeah, I, I am not the most familiar, but um, I have a propeller in my head. Mm -hmm. And in our practice game prior to starting recording, I was kind of zipping all over the place. Yeah, they, they did a really good job of making the characters feel like their boss fights. As somebody who's recently played through all the Shovel Knight expansions, you know, Propeller Knight's whole thing is zipping back and forth in the air. Tinker Knight's whole thing is he starts out as this weak little guy and then... Spoilers, but then it changes. We'll see. We'll see. I'm attacking you. Uh, I'm going to... Here. Uh, yeah. Yeah. I counted wrong. <laughs> Wait. One, two... <laughs> yeah, okay. <laughs> it's on purpose. Well, you know, maybe. Well, yeah, I baited you out, let's so, say. So you are also faster. I... Before I close to, so, oh, so, oh wow! I did it on purpose. This is, I, I think, you have to uh, hit my trap card. Is this a cross up in fighting games? You crossed yourself up. I crossed myself up. <laughs> Damn. So I close to, and to close means to close the gap between your opponent. Yes, there's multiple types of movement, uh, which basically just determine where you stop moving. So like, you wouldn't pass me if you were mm -hmm. here, and you had to close to, you would not move. But if you advanced to, you would move. Yeah, uh, but my range is one, and you are one, two away, Yes. so I don't hit. All right, my turn. Missiles, uh, range one to three, power four. Um, 
you don't have any shield mm -mm. or armor, so you just take the full damage, and then I can push or pull you one to two. I'm going to pull you in one. Oh, Ben, you're so close. So that goes do, to your gauge. Do stand so close to me. And this gets discarded because I didn't actually hit you. Yeah. Okay. Uh, and so normally you draw a card after you perform an action. The only time you don't is when you initiate a strike. Okay. So that is your turn now. No, I struck. Okay. I did the, I did the missile. You did do the missile. Well, I'm going to... Hmm... Uh, ba 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 ba. I'm going. I'm going to. Uh, I'm gonna. I'm gonna strike. Oh, such confidence. Mm hmm. Okay. All right. And ah, it's time to duel. Dang. You got six. I got seven. You're so fast. I'm you fast like a NASCAR. Uh, so I'll hit you for three. Yeah. And then upon hit, I can push or pull you two. I'm going to push you two away. So one, two. No, come oh, back. wait, wait. One, two. No. Nuh-uh. And now I'm out of range and oh. stunned. And so stunned. So this is Garbaggio. Uh, so this goes into my gauge. Mm -hmm. So How much damage did I take? Three. And how much did you take? Uh, b -b 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 Four. Four, yes. Okay. This is, I have not been... Was that the first hit? No, those. Yes. So three, four, four. four. All right. I'm remembering to do the damage numbers now. Uh, all right. And then I took. You took four. Four as well. Or you, both of us took four. Both of us took four. We took four. Yes. We've connected four. All right. Okay. My turn. Uh, I'm going to put a boost in play. Um, so you can play a card. Uh, the bottom quarter here of any card is the boost. Uh, this red number is how much force it costs to play, which basically means how many cards you have to discard from your hand. Uh, it's a continuous boost, which you can tell by this little plus. So this guy is going to kind of hover and stay in effect until our next strike. And he's going to give me plus two speed on that strike. All right. And then I draw a card. Okie dokie. I'm hands feeling a little light. I'm gonna. Mm -mm. I am going to draw, and then that means I can draw again. Yes. All right. Oh, okay. All right. Um. Hmm. I really like the art for uh, these cards. Uh, the Street Fighter set of cards really emulated that same like Street Fighter Four art aesthetic, just like straight up like pulling from the game or like assets from it. Um, the Shovel Knight stuff looks equally as dope. Yeah, um, you get kind of the classic. I'll strike the classic character um, portrait on the on the box, uh, and then some artist renderings. You know what, Ben? I don't want to use any of these cards in my hand. <gasps> so I'm going to Wild Swing. Wild Swing. Which oh. is taking the top card. So that's a super. Uh, as you can see by the play cost in the upper left corner, you can spend your two gauge to activate it, or I'm, you can do another Wild Swing. I'm going to spend my two gauge to activate Are it. Are you sure? I... Uh... <laughs> yeah. But... I'm just no. fucking with you. Wait. No, wait. I think. One, two, three, four. No, I'm not going to. <laughs> Fooled you, Ben. No. There we go. That's what I really wanted to do. Propeller pull. Speed okay. of two. So, I have the higher speed. I'm seven. Uh, before, advance five. One, two, three, four, five. Sh shoot. I miscounted <laughs> again. <laughs> Jan, we're bad at this game. Well, you know, with any type of card game, Ben, we're not bad at it. I was look. I what happened was I was choosing between two strikes, and one had a range of one, one had a range of two, and I mixed them up in my head. 
That's mm-hmm. simply it. No need to flame me. Mistakes happen, okay? Especially when there's not like any type of AI Daddy. handling these cards. No, no? okay. So uh, I can still take or do this. Oh right? yeah, yeah, yeah. You so, can. So uh, range of two. Yeah. I hit you for four. Cool. All right, and you just take that four damage. I just take that four damage. Uh, and since this was a successful strike, this goes to my gauge. Yep. Uh, this original wild swing goes to the discard pile. Yes. And mine goes to discard as well. All right, it is now my turn. Um. Uh, oh, that was my boost. That's why that's that. Okay. I'm going to exceed. <gasps> so to exceed, uh, I will pay two gauge, right? Mm-hmm. And then I'll ah. switch into that mode. What so. What do you do? I don't know yet. I, I didn't actually look at it. I wanted to do it, though, for, for the sake of the video. Yeah. Uh, so the the effect here, uh, when you exceed, advance, or retreat up to two, your special and ultra attacks have hit. If the opponent is at the attack's maximum range, plus two power. Oh. Mm. As an action, you may advance or retreat one, then strike. Oh. Okay. Wow. That's really good. Well, when you exceed, it's also very good. That's so true. that's fine. Uh, uh, cool. All right. And you so draw that's my a card. turn. Okay. I am just going to strike you. Ah. Uh, oh wait, I didn't. I didn't do the th- retreat thing. Can I do that? Oh yeah. I'm gonna that's retreat. Change things. Up to two. One. That is all, one of the numbers that is up to two. Yeah, okay. Uh, in that case, I'll draw. All right. Um, let's see. Let me read this again. Go ahead and read it out loud. Okay. Uh, once again, my thing is, uh, when you exceed, advance, or retreat up to two. All right. That's only upon activation of the exceed, right? Yes. Uh, your special and ultra attacks. Oh, it's only special and ultra. Okay. Okay. Uh, but this says, as an action, I may advance or retreat, then strike. That's oh. right. I believe you still wouldn't draw the card, though, afterwards. Oh, that's perfectly fine, because I'm going to use my action. Okay. And. All right. Uh, I'm going to advance right. one. Uh, because I fudged up your turn earlier than that. I'm going to strike you. Huh. No. All right then. Okay. Uh, All right. And Blau. All right. We're both very calm and focused. Yes. That's how you win card games, being focused. <laughs> so we both have the same speed, so we tie. Yep. But since I'm initiating it, I go first. Correct. Okay. Uh, the opponent cannot move you after draw a card. So I hit for four. You have two guard Mm -hmm. sorry two uh or armor 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 two arms um but so two damage so i'm gonna hit you for two you're not stunned Um, right uh you get to draw a card though okay and now same thing happens for me so pretty much you just hit me for i hit you for two and And i draw draw a card and we both get to move this to our gauge all right I used that right gauge. Yes. I think we use, we used the joke last time about Pet Cemetery when we were doing cards. Oh. Uh, I don't remember how it came up last time we were playing the uh Exceed Street Fighter game, but why did we start talking about Batman and rappers? Do you remember? I remember. I remember I don't remember why. I vaguely remember the conversation. EX. Ah! So if you have two of the same card, you can play them both. For an EX, and the EX will boost all of its stats by one, except range. Um, so the power, the speed, the armor, and the guard. I'm going to EX also. Oh my god. I don't know if I can do this. Are you EX supering? No. Okay. But yeah, you can. All right. So, this is five, right? 
Yes. You're at seven. Yes. Because it's plus one everything. Yes. So I hit. Uh, I am within the two range. This does four. Uh, so when you do an EX, one of the cards is immediately discarded. Okay. Um, three power. F- f- four, four damage. Four damage. Because I don't have any armor or guard. I get stunned. Yes. So I can't do this. No. Uh, Let's just play. Uh, uh, ben, you're uh, so far uh, away now. I'm all the way over here. Hey, Dan, come get some. No, don't do that for the video. Uh, okay, fine, 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 fine. Um, I'm going to... Uh, I forgot we were on video. One, two, three. Four, I'm sorry when I yawned earlier. Sorry. I forgot we were on video. I would have covered my mouth. No, it's okay. The little pips are only going to pop up sometimes. Oh, cool. Little pips. Uh, I'm going to use my action to advance one, and then I'm going to strike. Oh, but you're so... F- oh, that's the deck. You're so far away. I'm so scared. Don't worry, Ben. Sometimes there's life after death. Ha. Huh. All right. Blau. All right, what you got? So what's this move called? Uh, I'm gonna use headwind. I got a speed of five, so I'm faster than you. Um, before within ranger. See, this is the one I got confused with earlier. This is how this whole start. Oh, this yeah, whole thing. yeah, yeah, yeah. I know now, or I knew even then, right? That not even to do that before shit, because you're not in range of one to two. Yeah. But you're within range three to four. Mm-hmm. And I'm just gonna hit you for one. Oh, I'm poked and prodded. Beep. One damage. Um, I'm close to winning well, this game. Well, actually, though. no. I don't take any. Oh, yeah. You factored that in already with my armor? No. No. I didn't. I have armor. Uh, so I'm I fine. <sighs> and not only am I fine, when you are hit, spend any amount of force for plus two armor per force spent. Don't need that. After, add this card to your gauge at the end what? of the strike. gonna be like that mm-hmm. All right. it's like i'm building gauge because it's important for some reason uh i will draw and draw another okay oh boy i guess i'm gonna draw and then i will also draw um yeah me too all right, we can't keep drawing because we have a max of seven. Mm-hmm. And also, you know, got to get some action going. Mm-hmm. Um, I can't actually do it. I'm going to spend a force to move one. Yes. Okay. And then I draw. Yes. Oh, shit. Strike. Hmm. I yeah, we could be using boosts more. Y- yes. All right, I got whoa. I'm use I'm so I'm going to uh, use my ultra. Yes. Ultra. To use all my gauge. Yeah. Uh, but you are still faster. I'm faster. Ha! I throw a little wrench at you. Dink! Take two damage. Okay. Oh. Oh, you have stun immunity. Okay, I was gonna say. Oh, Jan, you're stunned. Ha ha. I'm going to stun you, Ben. I'm not actually stunned. The two damage. Because of uh, the stun immunity here. And then uh, before, if the opponent did not move during the strike, push or pull, you Okay, I don't need to push or pull you. Uh, but I hit for six. Ow. Oof. Oh. Ooch. Ow. So, ooh, th- ow. Ben, wh- what, what are you down to Three now? minus six. That's negative three. There's I no win. Way. I win. <laughs> what? <laughs> If you played the games, remember when he gets all big? It's happening now. So, if I may read no. my card here, the first, the front of Tinker Knight says, your life begins at half of its maximum. When your life would reach zero, exceed at no cost immediately before resolving the rest of the strike. And then I become Tinker Tank. When you exceed, set your life to four times the number of cards in your gauge. So right now that's oh, four. Fuck. So sixteen, right? Sweet sixteen, yeah. Uh, all right. Oh dang. 
And then you still have me by 10. <laughs> still. Uh, at the end of your turn or cleanup, remove Tinker Knight from the arena. Then set up Tinker Knight tank card at and your opponent in their starting positions. Uh, we resolved that. Oh, actually, I hit you with this first. Okay. So I'm at 20 gauge because I have five total gauge cards. Uh, um, so you hit me for... I hit you, which means this guy goes to my gauge. Oh, totally. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then, yeah. Uh, and then resolving your specials and ultras, add the effects of the boost to it. So now I am a behemoth. And it is my turn. And I will play a card. Ah. Uh. Uh, okay, me too. I'm doing a super ultra. Ultra. Uh, so three. Okay. Of these guys get spent, and I go first. All right. Uh, before push three, then close four. So you're in the corner. One, two. One, two, three, four. Oh boy. And then, uh. Damage is only three. Okay. You have how much armor? Two. Two. So you only take one. Not stunned. You are not stunned. Uh, that's it. Okay. And then I think you did this. So this also goes to my gauge. Yes. Uh, oh, you can also spend one of your force if you'd like to mitigate that damage. Yeah. I'll take it. All right. I'll take it. Mr. High Roller over here. Sometimes you need 25 HP. Exactly. Sometimes you need to take some damage to get some damage. That's what they always say, right? To make an omelet, you need to make some d damage. Yep. Yep. Shout out to Danny D. Kane. My heart is damaged. Damaged. So damaged. Um, then I'm going to, uh, I'm going to strike. Ben, do you remember the joke I made in like the warm up game that, you, you said mean I the joke you're about to come up with right now on the fly? No, because I forgot the joke. I'm honestly. It was something you. about sustain and uh, podcast ads. Oh, okay. <laughs> yes. Well. Oh. Hold on, guys. He's he's thinking of a joke. Boost area. Okay. Hey, I can do that. I can do it. <laughs> ben thought that was so funny. The pre-joke. <laughs> His glasses. And fell off. flip. All right. Seven. Yeah, you're fast. Um, so I hit you for one. Uh, you don't have any armor, so no. I still hit you. Yeah. Uh, and then after I can advance up to three, but you're already right there. Yeah. I you need to go four to get past me. So oh boy. Um, is that it? Yes. On your end. Yes. Okay. Well, after, we'll get to the cleanup. Uh, hit for four, but you're at the edge of the arena. Oh. Which means I have plus two power. What? So that's six. And I don't have any armor. You're dizzy. I don't know if you do clean up if you get dizzy. Well, thankfully we have a rule book we do. that we can try and reference. Clean up. After resolving both attacker performs first and defender second. Stunned. Some cards. Yeah, no, you're good. Okay. Also, Ben. You did that ultra last round, right? Yes. I think that becomes one of your boosts. That's, these are my boosts. No, that's your gauge. You're right. Well, it does become... Oh, gosh. How does that work? Because it becomes a gauge... Oh, so I, I should have done four more damage. I mean, you don't have to do that. <laughs> I'll, I'll do it. Because, oh. you know, we, we have to play by the rules here. I'm a man of honor. Um, as everyone knows at home uh, so it becomes a boost the boost is used up and then it goes away okay I think we're right yes I'm going to say we're right yeah this uh, is, the, the, uh, the intricacies of boosts was the one area that pregame we could not exactly nail down exactly okay uh, but the cleanup effect of this card oh sorry I'm going to do your 6 damage real quick okay uh, clean up add this card to your boost area as a continuous boost and sustain it. Speaking about sustaining, I've heard about sustaining what? No? 
No, 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 sorry. Oh. oh my god, I almost stopped, stomped on your joke. Do you want to just take it all from the top? No, 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 it's fine. Uh, speaking about sustaining, I've heard podcast ads about uh, being able to sustain oneself during physical activity. So you did? W- did you do one damage to me? I'm sorry. Just I, I, one. Just one. So I'm down just to 19. Um, remember when I told you I would laugh at the joke? Yeah. I lied. Well, you did like a, you, you laughed at the pre-joke, so I'll take that. <laughs> Um, okay. Drill arm hits, goes over here. Your guy hits, goes over there. Uh, this will stay as a boost, though. Oh, right. It's a boost. Did I? What? Is... Yes. Don't worry. We're playing right. No, I know. I just picked this. You picked up the whole I deck. Picked up the whole deck. Um, okay. Your turn. All right. Oh, boy. I'm going to draw. Uh, me too. Did you get two? Yes, I did. Okay. Um, I'm going to. I'm gonna strike. <gasps> Do I want to strike? Yeah, I'll strike. I mean, the iron's hot and all. It is. Oh dang it! All right. Oh. No. Yeah. 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 Sorry, what's your boost to do? Uh, plus one power. Okay, well, that doesn't matter because I got you beat on the speed. I grab you and I do three damage. And I can push or pull one or two. I can't actually do either of those. <coughs> Mayhem. Excuse me. Uh, cool, and so you take three damage. And because I didn't have any armor or any, gu- uh, any guard, I get stunned, so I can't perform this action. Yeah. Nuts. I hate this game now. I was doing so well in the pregame. I uh, had jokes that landed. Yeah, no, you really used up. I was on fire. You used up your material and all the good cards. <laughs> what? Strike. A- already? Strike, strike, strike. All right. Oh, you faster. All right. Um. So uh, faster, I hit you for two. Okay. And then upon hit, I can advance up to four. Um, you're right there, so I can't. Oh, you can go four. One, two, three, four. Okay. Well, then oh, wait, I will. Does advance? I think advance only means I can come. Advance. Up to move you. towards the opponent, switching sides and continuing in the same oh. direction. Okay. Yeah. I'll take that. So you're right there, right? Yes. Uh, I'll advance one, two, three, four. Um, and then close is where you don't pass me. Oh, okay. Okay. Uh, I'm going to gain advantage. Okay. So that card's cool. That card's really cool. You can, it has a bunch of different cool effects. Um, and now I'll do my thing. Sorry, how much damage did you do? Two. If I've missed any damage or anything, guys, I apologize profusely. It's a let, lot to manage. Let it be known in the record books that Ben Pack may or may not be a cheater in card games. Goddamn cheater. Uh, all right, I do my stuff. So push three. One, two, three. Advance four. I can get up to here. Wow. Um, and then it does the boost. So seven damage. Seven damage, my friend. You are at that, four hit points. That's f- messed up. I'm a big old tank man now. I guess. Jeez. Okay. Okay. Oh, okay. and this costs three. Need to make sure I don't cheat, or at least cheat as little as possible. Yes, yes. Cheat without me noticing and the audience noticing. <laughs> well, they'll they'll catch it for sure. Okay, okay. Uh, I'm going. I got to draw. Ho oh, ho. Okay. Yes. I'm thinking. I'm thinking. That. I want to strike. I'm going to wild swing again. (gasps) Okay. Five. Five. You go first. I go first. I do four damage. You are dead. I was, I had a whole play in my hand, Ben. (laughs) I was going to boost my speed one turn and then hit. (laughs) 
Good game. Good, 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 good game. Good game. All right. Uh, so that's been exceed. Uh, what, advance. <clears throat> exceed fighting system. Fighting system. These we. Uh, this is two of the decks that are available in the Shovel Knight Hope box. Yeah. Let's show the folks at home. We got. Uh, I played as Propeller Knight again, and then you played as Tinker, Tinker Knight. Tinker Knight. Uh, then we also got. Uh, my boy Shovel Knight with my girl Shield Knight uh, and Mole Knight. Mole Knight. Um, there's another box with four more. I think King Knight's in there, Plague Knight. And then there's two standalone ones. So if you wanted all the Shovel Knight characters, that'll run you uh, 60 plus 24. So like almost 85 bucks for eight. For the full ten, set, yeah. Ten decks. Um, the boxes come with these. These are your marker cards and the rule books and all that they're the standalone decks they sent us the dead cells and robot named fight decks um these just have the hero cards and the the like little rule cards and and once again the neat thing is all of these can play with each other yeah so you can ha forget smash is the ultimate <laughs> crossover game this really is because you can have you can have guile you have that one right off camera right fight um the beheaded the, person the beheaded, i didn't know the guy from dead cells is called the beheaded i didn't know I that either that makes sense because he doesn't have a head but you know what it does have a head that podcast ad that i heard <laughs> i don't know it doesn't no that's the end no that's the end all right <laughs>